Hi everyone, Amy Love here. Excited to share with you my latest um, creation. And this is actually in response to BD Bomb Bomb Elizabeth's birthday challenge. Now I saw that she was having a challenge and one of the things you could do was make a pocket letter. Well pocket letters are still one of my favorite things to create. I don't know what it is. I love making pocket letters still. So um, she also uh, had you could make, you know, there's other things you can make besides a pocket letter. And one of the other things was a file folder pocket letter, which I had never heard of. So I immediately uh, searched her channel for, um, oops, forgot to turn my phone off. I always do that. To look and see what was, what's, you know, a file folder pocket letter about. Well, a file folder pocket letter is a file folder with a pocket letter inside, but then it's like, an expansion of the pocket letter. So I've made an entire, you know, file folder themed all the same with a pocket letter in the middle. It's genius. I love it. I'm going to make so many of these. I cannot wait. This was so much fun. So thank you so much, Elizabeth. What a fun challenge this was. And so, um, where's the paper pad? This is a Stanferio paper pad I use, and it is the uh, Blue Stars, which I just love this paper pad. And I got this from Natasha from Natasha Scrapbook Corner, and it's just, it's so cute, right, because it has the little fairies that, of course, I've, I've stickled everywhere because I can't help myself, and these were cutouts uh, from the paper pad, and a little flower that I made with a heart in it, and then I just uh, stamped on some paper with a script stamp, and then inked it up, and then put little never can remember and just hung them from the top so pretty and then here is the back um, is just a piece of paper from the paper pad and then I've of course inked, inked all around but inside okay I love the pocket letter now I know that um, BD Bomb Bomb I, I believe glues hers in or no, she staples hers. She staples her pocket letter into the file folder. I just sewed mine in. That's just what's easier for me. And so here is the uh, pocket letter that I love. Um, so I just carried uh, that banner across. I cut the paper so that it looked like, you know, it was cut across. And then I made this one look like it was, you know, you cut the paper so that it looks like that. Wow. I really should have drank more coffee before I tried to do this video. Apologies. So I fussy cut out uh, one of the fairies right here, and I put uh, a bow that I made. I did add some of the stitching comes came on the paper pad, and then some I added myself, uh, just with a Sharpie. The little uh, gold stars that I've used in here came from N Natasha's Scrapbook Corner. And then um, I fussy cut these out of the paper pad and then just layered them up with like foam, foam dots in between to give it, you know, some height. And then um, I cut this from the paper pad and inked it up and then added, added that. Uh, I got a shaker, you know, I can't have, I always have a shaker with a bow on top. I usually will add a sentiment or a picture to the back and I forgot. So, but it's still just a beautiful shaker pocket. And then over here is another star and a tag that says, uh, kindness can change the world. And then another fussy cut fairy that's of course stickled and the edges are inked and I added a bow to her crown. And then this was from the paper pad and I just extended it out. So cute, I absolutely love the pocket letter and then just being able to expand on the pocket letter into the file folder was so much fun for me so um i added washi tape glittered washi tape that of course glued down this is i'm actually going to change this closure closure before i send it to her because um i think i'm going to use a bigger one of the gold stars because that'll be a better fit it's that's just not holding as well as I'd like it to, so I'm probably going to change that. But inside is a birthday card I made for her. And then on the back, I still have to add the goodies to the pocket letter. 
I made a pocket right here and I added this little tag and on the back of the tag has the information that she asked for. And I'm toying with the idea of putting another pocket here uh, for some goodies. So I might do that, but I'm also thinking I wanna maybe make a Christmas ornament out of this. I love this paper pad and it's almost gone. I think I've almost used the whole pad <laughs> on this. So um, thank you for the very fun challenge, BD Bum Bum. And I hope that you have a happy birthday and I will message you for your address and I will have a link to her challenge below so you guys can get over and check it out. And thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.